We're back and staying with the situation in Afghanistan. Republican Congressman Bill Heisinger had some pretty strong reaction to how the Biden administration is handling everything. Listen. Who we're leaving behind. Uh, American citizens, their extended family, immediate family, not to mention uh, those SIVs, those, uh, those special immigration visa folks. Those are the folks that uh, were the interpreters. They were the support staff. Uh, they were the people that helped the coalition uh, to succeed and to, to function. Uh, there is, uh, I don't believe at least, uh, that there is a, a real understanding that the Taliban is a different organization, this go around. Do I believe that this administration has been uh, transparent? Absolutely not. Uh, I think they have been contradictory in their messaging. Uh, you hear one thing out of the intel community and the Department of Defense and State Department seems to contradict the White House. Um, they are not on the same page. And uh, let me say this, I do think that uh, the intel uh, hasn't been bad, but the decision making based on that intel has been. Uh, that's really been the problem, uh, whether it's Bagram Air Force Base, whether it's people like me who had been encouraging this administration and the last administration to accelerate this uh, this SIV program. You know, this is where, uh, where we, again, we're, we're helping those who helped us. We are keeping them safe, those interpreters and others that, uh, that were part of this coalition. Um, so, uh, no, I don't think that they have been transparent enough. I don't think that they have been clear on what they're doing. It looks like the Taliban is dictating our exit rather than conditions on the ground and that is not a good situation military and logistics experts uh, who say that an August 31st date isn't possible um, you know whether that's early September end of September or it could be a couple of months uh, whatever it is we need to reestablish I think there's some things that uh, that could be done to accelerate it like go get Bagram back in, uh, in under our fold and under our control so that we have two airports in in two different geographic areas to make sure that we're able to get those Americans out and to, and to get those allies out. So, because, I mean, think of this. If you're down either uh, in the southern part of the, of, of the country or in the northern part, uh, you have to make your way to Kabul. All right, and there's fighting going on. There's, uh, there's, there's obviously uh, the weather is going to dictate some of that as well. That always does in Afghanistan. Uh, so why not have these two, uh, these two areas? And there